Have you ever come across a quarter dollar with a stunning coppery gold toning? This 1983 Washington quarter recently sold for an impressive $336 at 30 auctions. It boasts such an eye-catching appearance. What's fascinating is that this copper hue is only seen on the obverse, while the reverse retains the typical coppery gray look of a Washington quarter. This unique toning on the front side results from a mint error. The obverse clad layer is missing. Graded in Mint State 63 by PCGS, this error occurred during the minting process when the outer clad layer on obverse head side wasn't properly bonded to the copper core. Consequently, the obverse appears copper colored rather than the usual silver gray. This type of error is rare and significantly boosts the coin's value. The missing clad layer makes the coin lighter and uniquely appealing, making it a prized find for enthusiasts of numismatic oddities and distinctive addition to any collection. Wow, a 2018 P. Roosevelt Dam worth thousands of dollars, no kidding. This is an extraordinary error coin struck on a 98% iron planchet, making it an incredible rare Find. Graded in mint state 61 by PCGS, this coin weighs just 1.5 grams compared to a typical clad dimes 2.27 grams. A predominantly steep planchet, likely intended for a coinage, is a known foreign country, was struck between Roosevelt dime dies. As is customary for undersized planchets, the strike is slightly mushy at the borders and the centers, yet Roosevelt's profile remains bold. The surfaces are mainly gray with hints of peripheral walnut brown shades. This remarkable error coin was sold for an impressive $3,360 at heritage auctions. Here is 1974 Canadian of dollar with large obverse indent, graded in mean state 64 by NGC. It's a notable error coin that captures the interest of collectors and indent occurs when a blank overlaps another during the striking process, creating a deep unstruck area on the coin's surface. In this case, the obverse head side of the coin features a significant indent, resulting in a strikingly unique appearance. The MS64 grade indicates a well preserved coin with only minor imperfections, enhancing its desirability. This error coin stands out in any collection due to its rarity and intriguing minting mishap that produced it. It was sold for $408. 1917 Broad Struck Lincoln Cent graded in Mint State 62 Brown by NGC. It is an intriguing error coin highly valued by collectors. A broad strike error occurs when a coin is struck outside the retaining color, causing it to spread out and appear larger than usual. This 1917 Lincoln Cent exhibits this characteristic, broad, flattened appearance. Graded MS62 brown, the coin retains its original mint state luster with some white wear and rich brown patina. It ended up selling for $234 on June 17, 2024. Here is a fascinating find, a 1971 D. Jefferson nickel struck on a 1 cent planchet. Graded in mint state 64 by a PCGS, this coin is a stunning example of a minting error. Such errors occur when a planchet intended for a different denomination, in this case, Lincoln Cent, accidentally entered the striking chamber for Jefferson nickels. The result? A coin that features the design of Jefferson nickel but has the size, weight and copper color of a Lincoln Cent. Graded MS64, this coin is in excellent condition with minimal imperfections, making it highly prized by collectors. This unique error combines two iconic designs and showcases an intriguing mishap in the minting process. It was sold for $1,140 on June 17, 2024 at Heritage Auctions. This is 1920 Lincoln Cent, struck 40% off center towards the west, graded in mint state 64 red and brown by PCGS. This error occurs when the coin is not properly aligned during the striking process, resulting in a significant portion of design being missing. In this case, 40% of coin's design is absent, creating a unique and highly collectible piece. The MS64 red and brown grade indicates a coin is in excellent condition. With a mix of original red luster and brown toning, such off-center strikes are rare, especially 
from the early 20th century, making this coin a standout addition to any numismatic collection. It was sold for $1020. Here is an incredible numismatic discovery, a 2001 D. Lincoln cent milled with Roosevelt time reverse, graded in mid state 65 red by PCGS. A mill in numismatic terms refers to a coin struck from mismatched dice. In the extensive history of the United States, Mint, only a few dozen mills are known, with most being unique. The most famous mill is Golden Dollar Quarter Mill from around 2000, featuring a Washington State Quarter of Verse and Sacagawea Dollar Reverse. This specific coin is the second known 2001 descent dime mill. The dime reverse exhibits a broad rim with three concentric levels, inner and outer raised levels, and a recessed middle level, resulting from the narrower diameter of the dime die. On the obverse trust and the first L in Liberty are faint, and the Lincoln's bust truncation shows incompleteness of strike, characteristic of smaller dime. These unique characteristics add to its allure. It was recently sold. It was sold for an astounding $78,000. This coin exemplifies intrigue and rarity that make error coins such fascinating for collectors worldwide. Thanks for watching this video. Your likes and comments are highly appreciated. And don't forget to smash subscribe and bell buttons. Have a good one.